Hi everyone, this is Lynn with LV Crafts. If you're new, welcome. If you're a current subscriber, thank you for um, coming back. I am here to share a pocket letter class. Now, <clears throat> I was supposed to hold this pocket letter class live on Zoom, well, virtually live on Zoom, but my power was out and now it's later. So I am gonna try to film it and put it um, so people can find it. Anyway, let me go fast because we I have a lot to show you. So first and foremost, I wanna talk to you about pocket letters. What is a pocket letter? So I have a few examples here to show you uh, what I have been sent before and or received before. And um, the people that sent me this are pen pals all over the world, right? A pen pal was created, the pen pal, pen pal movement, let's just say that, was created by Jan, uh, Janet Lane. Um, she is the creator of Pocket Letters. And um, she created this uh, probably in like five, six years ago. And if you hear some noises, I'm sorry, my family is uh, trying to charge phones, watch TV, etc., etc. after this um, the power outage. So she created uh, this pocket letter movement, if you will, to send a letter in a fun way to a pen pal. So instead of sending a regular, um, you know, pocket letter, or, or excuse me, instead of sending a regular mail to your friend, trying to find an envelope to show you. <clears throat> here we go. I have one right here. Instead of sending things like on a regular envelope like this right and then put in a card she decided to make a pocket letter like this out of a baseball sleeve holder that holds nine pockets and decorate it and in the back put some goodies in it okay and I have uh, lots of examples from beginner uh, pocket letter to uh, amateur um, pocket letter to like super, super pro. So I have those examples. I'm going to show you. They're all beautiful. Everybody, I learned, I learned a little bit from everybody. And then I learned a lot from everybody because they got new techniques, new things like that. So basically what it is, is you want to share um, if uh, your pen pal or even your buddy, you know, your best friend, buddy. So I have a letter here from my my pen pal right here and she decided to put her note in a traditional envelope and then she added goodies here for me okay so you can do that too so she added um, a card and I can reuse this card because she sent it to me the, the note card just by like this by itself and thank you Pat and then um this was very lovely. She uh, sent me all of these little goodies for me to use. So what happens is you're going to end up with a pocket letter that has all these goodies, right? And then what do you do with those? Well, you can reuse them like I am today. I'm going to show you what, what I've done and collect the pocket letter itself if you like. That's what I do. So I have like seven binders, but I'm not going to show you all my seven binders because we'll be here all night. And apparently I only have 42 minutes. So here are some that I've received and I'm going to try to do my best to show you uh, what all this looks like. Sorry about the glare, but this is plastic. So I have taken the goodies out, most of them, out of the pockets in the back, okay? Now Janet Lane, the creator of Pocket Letters, um, or Jeanette Lane, she is on Facebook, excuse me, she is on YouTube as uh, Janet Lane, um, L-A-N-E, Jeanette um, and she also has a, a website and you can go to pocket letters pocket letter pals.com um, and it, <clears throat> it's a it's a subscription kind of thing you have to pay for it it used to be uh, free but it um, you know of course everything costs money so she decided she charges a nominal fee per month for uh, to belong to the pocket letter uh, groups but there is a facebook pocket letter pals that is free you can join you can trade with people all over the world you can share on facebook what you've received what you've made so i'm going to show i'm going to show you real fast because i'm going to try to i may have to do this in two 
or three parts but there will be very long parts because I have like 40 minutes on each and I want you to really understand that anybody can make a pocket letter and that anybody can create a work of art I um, receive pocket letters that are very um, beginner type and very extra extra you know uh, you know what category I fall under <laughs> if you've been with me for a while so there's nothing wrong with either I mean when you're beginning you don't really know what's going on you don't really know um, if it's you know if it's okay to add that if it's not okay to add that in my opinion if you're not sure to add it go ahead and add it anyway I mean it will be a good idea for that next person to be like oh my gosh I can't believe she added let's say a paperclip I'm gonna continue I will I'm gonna you know scrap lift that and or um, you know you know take that idea and put it into my own pocket letter so don't be afraid to think outside the box and create something uh, like a tag you know a homemade tag handmade tag whatever so let me flip on here while I am chatting here so most of these as you see is Valentine's Day now I'm a Valentine's Day crazy nut and I think I can say that for every holiday but Valentine's and Christmas Easter um, fall are my 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 big ones but Valentine's I don't know why but I get a lot of requests for pocket letters I think people love Valentine's Day and I have a lot um, so most of them are will be blank in the back because I've already used those goodies uh, on other pocket letters so that's the beauty of things like for example if I want to use this it's easy to take off I'll just go ahead and take it off and I'll use this in another pocket letter right now I've already taken pictures and recorded um, who gave me this I been and, and things like that so if you can see you can go on the pockets remove something and use it if you like or you can leave them intact this is some of my earlier pocket letters that I've received so I'm gonna go fast so this is a pocket letter from 2016 <clears throat> and this pocket letter I kept because this one was one that I made it's not complete but these are the leftover items that I had from uh, New Year's Eve and it was a New Year's Eve pocket letter so if you can see I use my fuse tool to fuse it together right and another thing is um, if you don't have a fuse tool or you don't know what that is it seals your plastic together but you can also use tape there's no uh, need to buy a pocket letter excuse me a uh, fuse tool if you don't need it uh, this one was uh, 2016 again my name on it um, people get creative like look at this this is like a straw they cut it in half and made it into like a little um, like a little banner holder if you will a uh, little pole there that's very cute so um, you know it's it's up to you what you want to use people use those jelly things like uh, I was on this one swap where these are the jelly and it feels good I mean it's all ta tactile you know it feels so good to touch anyway so I'm just gonna go here and show you all this Valentine Day ones and then here are some that I started to do to be ready for uh, for pocket letter so if I have a Mickey Mouse pocket letter or excuse me a Disney I got them ready to go and then I add on to here I take out whatever and then so are these okay I have ready to go all right so let me show you another binder <coughs> And then I'm also going to show you some loose ones. Okay, this is um, this is how she put her letter. So she put her letter here. It says, read me. And see, it doesn't have to be flat. It can be dimensional. Now, let me get to shipping. If your pocket letter is flat enough, you can ship it for about $2, $3.84, and then it goes up. So if you add a lot of things that are, um, that are, that are bulky your pocket letter is going to be more expensive to ship this pocket letter was about 384 to ship now let me show you what she did these are those little envelopes that are what are they called coin envelopes right so inside of here she uh run them through her embossing folder embossing machine with her embossing folder which that's such a great idea think about that and then in here she put her goodie in here so inside here, there is a bunch of flat flowers, which um, in fact, I'm gonna use. So um, that's really neat, right? Uh, so each of the pockets, instead of having the goodie in the back, which I'll show you about goodies and what to include and all that good stuff, uh, flowers and um, the note, right? 
And on the note, I'm going to show you the note. I'm not going to let you read all of it. But on the note, there is like um, where she's from and um, her name, of course, where she's from. If she has any kids, what's her favorite holiday, favorite um, recipe, and she'll share that with you. So anyway, um, yeah. All right. So now we're going to get to the ones I was showing you, these, okay? This one I just received. This is my latest pocket letter. And then here is, she covered this side with washi tape. And then you see this little hole here? You can make that hole again by punching a hole with a hole puncher. So here's your hole puncher. And I'm going to go with basic kids in a minute. What's a basic kid is, okay? Love Pat. Happy Easter. Very cute. Okay? Here is another one. I'm going to make sure. Here's another pocket letter, Valentine's Day. Here's the back. This is from Kim. Thank you, Kim. This pocket letter is from, is this from Yi Yang? I think it's from Yi Yang. Yeah. This is from the pocket letter, um, was this from Yi Yang? I don't remember, but Yi Yang and I trade a lot. It may be from her. But, um, so see the back. She includes goodies in the back for me to use for other pocket letters, right? So, thank you. And some people send them in binders, or excuse me, folders like this, okay? Send them in folders like this, you know, like school folders, and so they can be protected. You see that? All right. And this one is from... I don't remember. Let's see who this one's from so we can get a shout out to Angie. This is from Angie. Yeah, Angie. And this is the way she created her. So she put a pom-pom trim and this is how she decorated each pocket letter. Excuse me, each pocket of the pocket letter. This one has a little bit of sequins in it. If you can see that right there, I'll bring it up a little closer. So everyone is different, right? Now, how to ship them? So pocket letters sometimes come in these big uh, nine by 12 envelopes and they just go in here, right? That somebody just, you can just put them in here, you know, ship it and that's how much it was. So let me show you, I don't want to show the address, but this is how much it costs to ship to her, whatever that is, 75 cents plus this, I don't know. Um, this is how much it costs to ship, all right? So I'm going to put this back here and then I'm going to show you Two more and then we're gonna go to basic kit okay um this one is uh actually how the way i received it this is it this is a pro uh pocket letter person <laughs> and i say that because oh actually i have two in here let me show you so this is my friend rocks send me this one okay let me close this one this one is the way that Rox gave it to me. It was, it was wrapped really beautifully because we exchanged it, um, like a hand exchanged. But you know how this is like a real romantic theme. I mean, you just, and in the back, there's her note. And then she gave me the goodies on the side. Like, you don't have to include the goodies on the pot in the pockets if you don't like. Because we were exchanging, uh, we were hand exchanging these. So it was, she gave me a whole bag full of uh, goodies. So then she makes like these cute little pockets and it says friends are and friends and fun. So that is very cool and very neat. Everything is inked and, and um, there's a picture of us. Okay. So then let me show you um, Elida's pocket letter. Now, uh, Elida has probably been doing pocket letters for a long, long time. This was her presentation. She put a calendar and a big box of chocolates right here. I don't have it, but you can just imagine a big box of chocolates right here. Let's pretend this box of Huggies is much chocolate, but they were here. And in the back, there was a calendar. It was like really, really cool and extra. And I love that. Okay. So... There's no right and wrong, like I said, but some people want their style is extra. Some, their style is simple, clean look, whatever they want to do. So here's Elida and she knows that I love Disney. And um, this is a um, beautiful Friends um, Graphic 45 um, collection. And she knows that I like paper clips and, you know, here's... A lot of little bling, Mickey Mouse bling. She shares some washi tape. She put a little um, keychain with an L with a um, 
keychain there, a little tassel across a beautiful keychain that I um, don't want to use that it's a um, beautiful cross because of course uh, we're all faith-based here and um, of course in the back we have more stuff this was during Christmas time she included some of these little two from labels I mean just very cute she included some of that washi tape and then she sealed or closed her pocket letter if you can see that with these little um, binder clips okay and they're pink because of course I like pink who doesn't like pink? Let me bring this a little closer. Okay. All right. Now, I am through. Oh, do you see how she did the little bows on each of the each of the uh, holes? But it still gave her enough room to put it through. Okay. So your presentation can be any way you want to be. Okay. It's just this one was hand delivered, so it fit. But of course, you can also mail it. I'm gonna keep these two together just because. I want to okay all right so basic kit what you're gonna need to make a pocket letter well the first thing you're going to need of course is a trimmer so here's my trimmer just regular simple trimmer little big one you need some scissors okay you're going to need some uh, tape runner you're gonna need some glue you're going to need um, a pokey tool if you don't have a pokey tool uh, this is very good to make little holes or whatever um, but if you don't have one you can just use um, like a, t a tack, um, you're gonna use a hole punch. I use this to make my punches, the my crocodile, and then I I use a tweezer because it, sometimes this is, um, what's it called? Useful. <coughs> Excuse me. So everything else is just gravy. That's all I'm gonna say because everything else is what you have in your inventory in your stash. So let's get and use what you have. Okay. Uh, now. I'm gonna move my um, I'm gonna move my trimmer out of the way because I don't think I'm gonna need it. All right, so that's all the tools, if you will. Now, of course, you're gonna need paper. So paper scraps will be good. I use these um, four and a half inch by six and a half inch, um, just you know, card suck. That they're kind of like um, a, a smaller piece of paper that I can work with, and it's cardstock, so it's good. But I also have, of course, my scraps. So let me show you my scraps. Um, sorry about the glare. So I have scraps of paper that I already cut, cut down to size. And this is just white paper that I cut down. And excuse the, um, excuse the, the, the little mess here. It's just my trimmer needs a new blade. And then here's the paper that I'm thinking about using. Okay. So what am I, what is it? How do I put it in? How do I put, put in all this stuff? What do I use to do that? Okay, so here is what I'm going to show you. This is my favorite pocket letter or the pocket pages that I use. The reason why is because it's ultra clear, okay? And I already have one out here. This is super clear. As you can see, you can see the, uh, the what is this? The advertisement, right? The whatever this is called, the label. You can definitely see it. There's some that are frosted that are very, uh, you know, it has that little frosted and it, it kind of takes away from your project. So I prefer these, but you can use any one. I got these at Target and these were $5, $4.99. There is ones that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. Now the Dollar Tree ones, I mean, they're all, they're all going to have nine pockets. But to me, the quality of these, is, these are better and... <clears throat> the seams don't come apart so you get what you paid for but yes you can make a pocket letter with any type of pocket page sleeve protector however if the pocket protector seems kind of flimsy uh just keep that in mind these seams will come apart because i have some of those i did not show you this if i come if i come across those I will I will uh, show you how this is like open where the goodies came together and you know you just want to last a long time so you get about 30 pages and here's the back of them and it's just pocket you know pocket protectors this is of course that's what you want to need to use them and here's here's mine um okay so another thing I do a lot of my I do a lot of um, pocket letters, so I eventually got tired of 
writing everything down the same, the same, the same, especially if I have like a 12 or 14 pocket letters to make. And yes, I am that crazy, okay? Um, so I trade with people all over the world and sometimes there is, you know, six, seven, eight people that I have to do for in like a month or a week. Um, so I decided to type everything up and I update this every two, three months if something changed. This is my letter and this is, I fold it like, you know, when you were a school grader, right? Like this type of note. This is how I fold it just to be fun and remind some of those 80s kids about these type of notes. So this is how I fold mine, all right? And then just because it's fun, I write here pull. Remember that? Because I'm dating myself, but that's, you just pull this and it opens, right? So this is the way that my letter will look like. It's already typed, ready to go, so I make sure. Sometimes I've forgotten to mail this out in my pocket letter, so don't do what I do, okay? Keep it near you. Okay, so I have a plethora of items to show you what you can include in your pocket letter. I have 20 minutes to do this and try to put it together semi. Semi put it together. Let me see if this is going to work. No, it's not, but look, this is one of those clear 13 by 13 boxes. Okay, and um, oh, things are falling. All right, so I went through my stash and I shopped in my stash. Okay, things I wanted to, to add to here. So let me show you. I got a ruler to show you the pocket sizes because I don't think I've said it, and if I have, I've forgotten. The pocket size is two and a half by three and a half. We're gonna put this puppy right here so you can see. Right, so it's two and a half right here okay by three and a half this way and if you need any any more any any questions i got a few of my pocket letters videos you can check them out you can check out jeanette lane you can check out pocket letters in general on youtube and remember this is um it looks you know it's see-through or you know it's very clear so you can see through my uh, tim holt uh, platform here so <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So I'm going to show I'm going to keep this here and I'm going to show you what I have. The first thing that I like to do, I like to create a sequin mix. Okay. So I have a sequin mix right here that is not complete and I'm going to add more sequins to it. Okay. And I'm going to do either these two pockets, the top ones or the middle. All right. I also like to use stamps. I like to use so I'll show you the glue, the glue stick, all your basic stuff. Um, I guess I like to use uh, stamps. I like to use dies. I like to use punches. And one of my favorite punches is the tag punch because you can create immediate result with your tag punch. This is just a regular tag punch. I think this is from Stampin' Up. Yeah, but you can grab a tag punch anywhere. Okay. I have stickers. Now, before I get showing you the rest, I'm going to tell you, I am making a wedding inspired pocket letter. Okay. So that's why I'm using everything white. Okay. Let me show you. I have a lot. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything that I have. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do part two. And the part two will be, I don't want to rush this, like I said. A part two will be how I put it together in more in detail. Right now, I'm going to show you everything I have because I think that makes sense. Okay? We may just get, we may get started to, to, uh, to it. So I'm going to include, I'm going to show you everything, like I said, because it's important for you to see my, well, not just my thought process, but what can you, what can you actually add? Okay? So I'm going to add some laces. Okay, thank you, um, Elida. Okay, and here's some more sequins that I have um, right here. Sequins and some of those diamond dots. And then I have chunky glitter, sorry, and fine glitter. Um, I have a star and moons and stars. I may or may not use that. I have some wood veneer. Excuse me. I have some wood, some more wood. Okay, I'm gonna keep everything kind of in a pile. 
I have laces and trims. So I'm going to put my laces and trims right here. I have this one that is called diamond, some stickles, because that really makes everything pop. Okay. Um, I have some of these uh, adhesive glitter shapes. Go through your stash and see what you have, because I promise you, if you want to create something for your friend, like this one has a, a bride and a groom, a ring, uh, some hearts, and a chapel window, okay? That's in the trash. And then later, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack it up, etc., etc. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to keep this here, okay? I um, have... Um, these decorative scissors i think this is kind of fancy so i'm using that okay so then i'm going to use some of my bling to put in here just examples of my blinks that i'm going to try to add um i'm going to add some pearls because what's a wedding without pearls i'm going to add pearls in all kinds of colors more this is loose bling okay this is sticky back pearls Okay, these are like brooches, um, the top of the brooches without the back. They're just flat back, which is great, okay, because they make, make it easier to, uh, to ship. I have um, something, uh, something blue, nothing borrowed here, huh, because they're going to keep it, but I have uh, blue lace, okay. I have a lot of lace, a lot of ribbon, a lot of yarn, um, not yarn, but fibers, more, uh, this one has gold because I know my friend's, um, pocket letter has to have gold because that's their color. So I also have more of this type of eyelet trim. All right. So let me see. I have a lot of those. I'm, I want to get everything out so I can also see what I have. All right. I have some fabrics, so some so cheesecloth type of material. Okay. And I have some flowers that are already made. Okay. I have this um, Mr. and Mrs. Confetti pouch. I'm going to take them out of here. And it says Mr. and Mrs. And there's confetti on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I have more sequins. I have some um, coffee filters that are white. And coffee filters that are white that are baby. This is the difference. Baby little one. Baby big one. Okay, this is my paper product. So I was showing you kind of bulk, bulk, bump and bulk, like Janet says, Janet Madison. Hi, I hope you're watching this. I don't know if you are, but I love you. Um, <laughs> I have um, this one that says passport. I'm not so sure if I'm going to keep it like this uh, or I may have to, um, where is it at? So I can show you. Use my foiling leafing pen in gold and color this so i'm gonna put it here um more of that little blinks and then i have um, some more like buttons i'll show you what they look like there's some gold and some silver like this they're like chandeliers all right then i have some stickers okay that are wedding related then I have, I mean, I have a bunch. I have a bunch. So paper products. Uh, maybe I should leave the paper products um, for later because I have a lot of paper products, of course, right? What's the pocket letter with that? That. All right. <clears throat> so I have larger, oops, larger uh, pearls. Okay. And some of them are a little hurt. Then I have these little white tags paper products okay then I have more lace more lace I have some gold flowers that are flat okay I have some gold thread okay. I have gold paper clips I have uh, wood veneer that say amour love home Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Some doilies that are crocheted. Okay. I have some tags, and I have some regular doilies that are paper that are hearts. These that are round. Okay. And 
let me try to get into this. I have more bling. This is really beautiful bling. Love it. Then I have some fiber, yarn fiber that it's uh, goldish. I showed you this. I have some par parchment paper. Okay. I have some cut aparts that say love never fails and like a journaling card and it's like it has a treatment on it like embossed i got these uh laser cut embossing embossed uh die cuts that are wedding related our story okay i have a lot more bling i got a what are these called uh library pockets i got some white tags And I got some frames. I got some tiny clothespins. I have some, what are these called? Photo corners that are white and photo corners that are gold. And I can't find the gold, but they're in there in this packet that I got from Amazon. It's a bunch of them in there. Um, okay, I got regular pearls. That are not flat back. I have clear or iridescent pearl trim. I got this tape, and I'll tell you for what. It's to seal the top pockets. Okay. I got a little bit of pom pom trim and a lot of a little bit of the laces. You can use your scraps, of course. Alright, so now in the back of my pocket letters, I like to put my things in these kind of containers these kind of little things so what i do is these are jewelry item bags this is from amazon by the way and you can just share little items and make them cuter instead of just putting them in the back with no with nothing on it i hope you can see that's a bag and it's not just my hand that's a bag let's see if i can show you yeah there we go okay I have these that are, uh, what's the word on these? Um, cellophane. Cellophane, I think that's the word. Acid, no, yeah, cellophane. All right, that's one. I have the glassine bags that are little, and I like to share them with my friends as well. And let's say I want to share these tags, and I want to put them in here. That's where they will go. Okay, you can stamp on these, you can ink them, you can, um, I like the texture and sound of it, but you can uh, crunch them up and make them look kind of distressed, distressed. Last and not least, okay, I have very little Ziploc bags, but I also have very baby ones in, the, in another uh, part of the house. Didn't bring them with me, but I bought them for that reason, and 